We're joined tonight by cybersecurity expert and CEO of MGT Capital, John McAfee. John, always a pleasure. Good to have you with us tonight on this very important story. It's almost mind boggling. It brings Big Brother to a new meaning, so to speak. Your thoughts on what you have heard reported so far and what you know about this breach? Well, uh, first of all, it's good to be back again. I'm always, always happy to be on RT. Um, it, the whole thing is horrific. Um, first and foremost, uh, I'd like to thank Julian Assange for bringing this to the attention of the American public. You know, counter to what the CIA and FBI would like to do to Julian, I would like to give him a medal. But of all the things, and no one has talked about this yet, of, of all the things that trouble me most about this hack, is that the CIA has, has uh, confirmed that they knew of zero-day day exploits years in advance of the manufacturers of the software uh, of finding out. Zero-day exploits are um, faults within software that can allow hackers and malicious code to get in. So basically, uh, by not fixing those faults, it puts the customers of Google, Apple, Microsoft, and many other American manufacturers, it puts them at risk, it puts the reputation of the manufacturer at risk, and it costs us all billions of dollars. So mm -hmm. my question is this. I mean, I understand why the CIA is doing this. Uh, they don't want uh, these uh, zero-day exploits to fall into the hands of the enemy, uh, because the enemy then will take advantage of it. But, but seriously, aren't we doing the same thing as, as having a bunch of ill uh, people in our population? Uh, and the CIA has a boatload of penicillin, which, which could cure us. But they're not going to give it to us because the enemy may get access to it. Do you see the horror well, of this? It, there's no question Go about ahead, it. it tell, me, tell me about the CIA Umbridge Group. Now, they, they can copy programs, use them, and they can leave a footprint uh, to point elsewhere, such as another entity doing work where blame comes yes. in, uh, i.e. Yes. Russia, uh, you know, got into the NSA, got into, uh, you know, the hacking the of the DNC. DNC. What, what, what about, what about yes. that? Well, see, I've been saying this all along. I was, I was the uh, lone voice in the wilderness the last time I was on RT just a couple of months ago. Um, yeah. saying that it cannot possibly be the, the Russians for a number of reasons. Um, but yes, uh, the, the CIA and, and the Russians and all hackers can place into their malware indicators that makes it look like somebody else. For example, the DNC hack had traces of the Russian language in it. Um, it had compile times that matched the business hours in Moscow. It used techniques that Russian hackers used. Um, however, if it was truly Russia, the state, that did the hack, they are far more clever than to leave those traces in the program. Think about it for a minute. Also, the yeah. program was a year and a half old, so, so it, more than likely it was some 15-year-old kid somewhere, or maybe the CIA, but it could not have been Russia. And I, I've kept saying that over and over, and thank, thank the Lord. Um, uh, the CIA has confirmed that that is exactly how it works that they make it well, look last like night, somebody else. I, I, I want to point out, last night on Fox News, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Tony Schaefer, retired, told Fox News that the NSA hacked the DNC and left Russian footprints. Here it is. ATP 2829, the so-called Russian uh, tool that we used to hack the DNC, Sean, we did it. Not me, but our, our guys. Former members of NSA, retired intelligence officers, use these tools to break in there and get the information and, out. And, and, That's and what the Democrats don't want to talk about because it doesn't fit the narrative. You know that for a fact. You know the Democrats did it, or the, that former operatives did it, using the malware techniques that they put the Russians' fingerprints on Sean, it and the make it appear like the yes. Russians. In other words, you're telling me this whole Russian story that the media has been running with for months and months and months, and that it was our people that did it, and they and, just put the fingerprints of the Russians on it? It? That's, pro that's right. And J John McAfee, you were the first one that came out and said that, uh, no, it's not Russia. Now, we've got Capitol I, I, Hill I said, it, I said it on DC. RT itself. Uh, Go ahead. Absolutely. Absolutely. You've got uh, people in a frenzy on Capitol Hill about investigations uh, pointing the fingers. What fixes this, in your opinion? Where, where do we go to fix this? 
we need a new paradigm. We need a totally new paradigm. I mean, it's something I would, you know, if, 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 if John O'Brennan and Michael Hayden, who were the past uh, CIA directors under Obama, if they were here, I mean, I would like to say, shame, shame on you. You are supposed to be the shepherd for the flock of American citizens to protect us. And yet you kept from us all of those things, these zero-day exploits, for years, while we suffered and lost billions and our, our industry's credibility went down. What were you thinking? Yeah. What were you what, thinking? John, what other kind of programs do you think the CIA would have that maybe we don't know about? Well, it, 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 probably the same thing that, that all sophisticated hackers have, whether they're state associated or not. Uh, I'd like to point something out that's really important that, that people forget. When we talk about cyber warfare, we're talking about a different world than nuclear war, for example. Uh, first of all, cyber warfare can be many times more devastating than nuclear war yeah. in, in, in a horrible way. Uh, and yet the weapons, like uh, uh, I understand there was over $100 billion put over the past eight years put into the CIA's hacking division by the Obama administration. And that was, by the way, just taken, okay? Um, because yeah. that's what happens. All cyber tools are stolen. There are no secrets in this world. Because as sophisticated as the CIA is at developing weaponized software, they are just as ignorant of cybersecurity measures because we have none in this world. They knew at okay. some point it would be taken. And this time next year, it's going to be on the dark web, and a 15-year-old kid can buy the entire set for $100. This is the reality. This is the tragic situation that we are in. John McAfee, always a pleasure to have you with us on RT America. I appreciate it so much. Thanks for being with us this evening. Yes, sir.